What's going on YouTube? It's Roller89 here and today we are doing a frame swap for my brother. Um, I've already got the shocks in, links, tires on. I got the ESC in and the radio in. Didn't make a video of that. Probably should have but I'm going to bring you guys along for the rest of it. So what I'm working on now is I'm uh, pulling the drive shaft off of his stock axles and I'm going to be putting them on these axles and the whole transmission and everything so you guys can do that with me. So I'm going to grab the old body and frame with the transmission and drive shafts in it and I'm going to do that. So here we have his stock frame, his drive shafts I have disconnected from the axles. Do you see him dangling here? And thought I did this one. Oh, I did. I just didn't pop it off. Okay, so that one's off. Now, I'm going to take these four screws out of the skid plate so I can get the transmission and motor out. So I can stick it in this guy. It's just a Phillips head screw, by the way. I think we should cheat a little here, YouTube. What do you guys think? Yeah, cheat a little? Alright. We're going to break out the porter cable. That's two. Three. That's four. So now this can all slide out. But as I see here the freaking battery box is going to give me a hard time so what I can do about that well maybe we can come this way let's see nope alright so battery box out she comes see that there okay we should have a steering servo and his steering horn and shit I need to take, but we're not there yet. So, here is... Let's get the zip tie off. I'll redo that for him. Here's the transmission. Your drive shafts. Um, look good? Yep. Okay. His motor. Actually, guys, I believe... He wanted me to change his gear here. Which way? This way. Which it looks a little smaller. Well, we'll see guys. He wanted this gear put in. So I guess we can knock that out real quick. We've got three screws here, Phillips head, and a center nut, which I'm almost wondering. Maybe I could just... Let's try popping that center nut real quick. We have something that size. Same size as the fucking wheel. Nice. So let's do that real quick, guys. Okay. So let's pop this. Uh, these three screws out. Oh, wow. Okay, that's one. That's two. That's three. So let's see if the old girl comes right out. Which... Oh, ain't that a bitch. Oh, oh, there we go, guys. Okay. So, here's the old one. Well, stock one. Here's what throws me off. About this it doesn't want to go on there too easy I don't know guys this was 3d printed um, I think it was for a gen 7 
which is the frame we're using anyway, which would be convenient. But it either requires a little bit of sanding. Yeah, it's not going to go that way. It's going to go this way, definitely. I think for the Gen 7, though, let's see here. Yeah, I think for the Gen 7, we'd have to change this little plate. I'm sure it has a name. I'm not sure what the name is, but we're not going to do that because it needs some sanding. And I don't think it just is as simple as it looks to go on there, honestly, guys. So let's see here. Okay, there we go. Still turns. Well, that's how you take your spur gear off if you guys were interested in changing it. I think um, the Gen 7 has a different plate on the back of here that connects to it, so we're not going to do that. Um, that lines up. That lines up. And that lines up. Okay. So obviously to put these back in, I'm not going to drill them. I don't want to strip nothing out because one, it's not my truck, and two, I just don't want to strip nothing out. So we're going to use a screwdriver and we're going to do this the old fashioned way. Tight. Good. Good. Spins the drive shafts like it should. Okay. Where's that center? There it is. Let's not forget our center bolt. Um, oh, you know what I could do while I'm messing with this? I probably should grease the uh, transmission. I could crack her open and grease her. I think I might do that uh, at a later time. I just want to get this switched over. So I'll tighten that back up if I click this over. All right, I have to take a quick break there. We're back. Um, I've got this all tightened. This is all tightened. Um, you see it meets pretty good. It's not too tight. You don't want it jamming into each other. You want just enough where, you know, it grabs, but it's not digging in too hard. Um, we've got a 27 turn. Very similar to mine, which it's actually the same exact motor. I've got in mind it's an RC four-wheel drive 27 turn. Um, we're going to go ahead and throw this transmission in. See the four screws here? We're going to line them up under there. After I get this in, then uh, you guys can see me do it. So let me put this drill back. So now, we're going to flip her. Now that that is in there, we're going to flip her towards the light. And we are going to line up these holes if I can find them and there they are right there well while I get this all tightened up I'm going to take a quick break and we'll be right back so what I went ahead and did was uh, switch out for my nice ratchet little screwdriver makes it a little easier so I've got three screws in so far we're going to line this back up, like that, okay. So guys, we've got the motor and transmission in. Now I'm going to go ahead, I'll flip this over for you guys to see. I'm going to go ahead and take the drive shafts and hook them up to, you know what, we're going to spin that. Here a little. There we go. Now, 
we are going to get that out of the way. Spin this. Now you guys can see. Now we'll double check. See, and that's why I want this flat spot. So we're going to go ahead and turn that. I want that like that. So we're going to take this and put it in here. So now we are going to do the front, which bear with me guys. I have to see here. Okay. Let's hang that off a little. So we can open this up. Let's see. There we go. Right there. So now that that's ready to go, pick this up. Okay, pop that off. See, it moved, which we don't want. We want that straight. With this, which I'm going to spin that spur gear to get the transmission and the drive shaft moving. This is very important, guys, because we don't want this thing sitting on here wrong. We want it right, so. Okay. Now the transmission is in. The drive shafts are hooked up properly. Here's everything. See, you spin it. Your wheels all go. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, next thing I'm going to do, for starters, I'm going to get rid of this steering horn, which was off of my Axial Bomber when I got it. It was stripped out. So here's the servo. Let's, you know what, make this nice and easy. Nope, don't want to do that. There we go. Not there, nope. Nice. Gotta love it. So take that off. Actually put that over here where we won't mix it up. Okay. So what I have to do is ooh, what's going on here, bro? I don't like that, so let's fix that. See the steering horns coming off. I'm gonna go ahead and fix that for him. Alright, we're back, and um, I threw a screw in the middle and tightened this up, so it's pretty solid now. I don't know what the hell happened to the second screw, and why I couldn't get a size for this. I ended up, like, messing with it, and now it's tighter, but, and that center screw's definitely holding it. Um, we're gonna go ahead, oh, excuse me guys, it's kinda late. We're going to go ahead and pop these out. Now this, and voila, nice. Okay, so we can sit this back over here. Let's see here, guys. Hmm. What in the world? Oh, shoot. Okay, that's an easy fix, guys. So what I can do is take these two guys out. this one over here out. I'm working left handed for you guys. Take it or leave it. Bada bing guys. Now, reverse of what we just did. We gotta throw the screws back in now. Oh, don't drop it. Oh, you know what? Let's hook up the servo and get the uh, servo straightened out before I go doing anything. What are these long freaking wires? I don't ask questions, guys. Let's just get it done. Let's see here. Okay. 
Turns on. That's a good sign. Okay, as you can see, servo's working. Okay. Alright, everything looks good. We're pretty much coming to a closure here, guys. Um, a lot of the rest of this is just clean up. So I'll make a follow-up video when my brother gets his body put on. And we'll see how he likes the new frame. Um, we've already got the bumper mounts and the body mounts. We just need the uh, post, which I think he has somewhere and I can take care of. Um, but for now, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Till the next one I bring you. Rule 39. Peace.